Hello everyone, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recording. Today we are going to build an application using Deno. All the link used inside this video and code are mentioned inside the description box. For our application, we are going to need Oak for serving our application. Inside Oak, we need an application. Let's now initiate our application class as const app equals new application class. Then we need to make our app listen to port 8000. And add a console log state as server is listening to port 8000. Our application structure will use model view controller architecture. So we need to create a routes folder inside it, create a file as list.ts. From our oak library, we are going to need router. Then initiate router as const router equals new router class. So router.get inside this function provide path and context as parameter. In this, we send response to a body as hello world. Then we need to export our router as export default router. Then inside our app.ts file, we are going to import our list router. Now we need to pass the router inside the app as middleware as app.useRouter.routes and app.useRouter.allowed methods. Let's head up to our terminal and type den and run. Then we pass allow all tags and pass unstable tag then pass our file name. Then open postman and send a get request to our root path. And here you can see our message has been printed. Now to separate our code, we need to create our controller folder. Inside it, we need to create our list controller file as list.ts. Inside our list.ts file, we need add an import statement to our controller. Then inside our list controller file, we need to create a function as add list.
which will have context of type any as parameter. Then we send our response as controller is working. Now inside our list routes, we import our function and send our function inside our get method. Now open Postman and check our link. And here you can see our controller is working. Let's now add logger to our app. Inside our app.ts, we need to create a middleware. This middleware will help to calculate response time to reach to our client. Then we can console log our response time along with what method we are passing and which URL is asked for. Then we need to create another middleware which will track our timing in millisecond. Now open a postman and send a get request. And here you can see that a logger is working. Now let's create a model folder inside it. Create db.ts file. Then we need to import mongodb to store our file. Inside it, we are going to require a Mongo client. Then initiate a Mongo client as const client equals new Mongo client. Then connect our Mongo client to our local database. Const db equal client dot database and then pass our database name via passing list. And then let's export our database. 
as export default db. Now inside a model, create another file of list model as list.ts. Then inside a list model, we are going to require our db. Then create an interface as list, which have list title, which is typing of string. And is completed which is of type boolean. Then create our list class. Inside it pass our empty contractor. Now let's create our repository as list repo equal db dot collection. And inside it pass collection name. Then create a function as create list. Which will require argument as input list details and it's of type list. Inside our create list function, we need to require a list title as cons list title equal input list detail dot list title. Then for our task checking, we also need call is completed from our input list details. Let's now create our list as const create list equal await this dot list repo dot insert one. Inside insert one function pass our list style as title and is completed as completed. Now inside our list controller file, we need to import our create list function from list models. We forgot to export our list class, so inside our list model file, we need to export our list class as export default list class. Then we can import our list class directly inside the list controller. Then we need to initiate our list class. Then we need to require a form body from our form. To do so, we need to type const form body equal await dot context dot request dot body. Then inside it, we need to set our content type as text which accepts only HTML form data. Then after requesting a body, we take the value from the body as 
कॉन्स लेस टाइटल इक्वल फॉर्म बॉडी डॉट गेट टाइटल then we need to set r is completed as false initially now we can pass out our list data inside the list class to our create list function which will require parameter of list title and is completed then we can send response to a body as data has been added now inside our list routes we need to change our get method to post method as we are posting a form so it's good to practice to do so and also change our path to add list Now open up a Postman and send a post request to a server to add list link. Also need to fill a body which will require a key and value. Now just send the request. Let's create another controller to send all the data inside a database called as all list. Then inside the list model, we need to create get all list function. then inside this we need to return our list report dot find and inside the find function pass the empty object to return all the data inside it then inside our list controller we can create a constant as const all data equals list class dot get all list then we can return our all data to a body as context dot response dot body equal all data Then inside our list routes file, we need to create another handler to accept get method, which will have path to root path. Inside it, we need to pass our all list function. Now open Postman and send a get request to root path. Wait a second we are missing a wait in our list controller file Now open the postman again And here you can see that our data has been appeared So this is how we can implement create and read method For our to do app in the next video we are going to implement our views create our form create delete request and more so stay tuned please like our video and do watch the other deno tutorial video for now i am signing off we'll see you in the next video